Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for your love so far on my previous video. I sincerely appreciate it. So today I'm going to be giving you a story time about my trip to South Africa. Cape Town to be precise, but I stopped by in Johannesburg. So I left Nigeria and we landed in Johannesburg. Guys, guys, South Africa is beautiful. South Africa is fine. You know that song where they say, Oh, my fine girl, oh, fine girl, South Africa, fine girl, oh, fine girl, oh, fine girl, oh, fine girl. Oh, fine girl. ah. South Africa is fine, it's breathtaking, I can see. But Cape Town tops it all for me. So I spent two nights in Johannesburg and I decided to go to Cape Town vibe bus. <laughs> vibe bus, 17 hours bus. So I took the Intercape bus to Cape Town and this trip was 17 hours was it worth it mm, i would say yes because i'm adventurous like that i wanted to see jail of south africa as much as i could but as they say you can never have it all but i took this bus it's a cape bus for 429 rand so join me as you and i as all of us as boboa go to south africa together so let's go guys of times for tea break to get food and just to use the convenience so that was how it was till we finally got to Cape Town <laughs> called me out for dinner that food <laughs> So the next day my adventure started there are a lot of beautiful places to visit in cape town i must tell you but i started with the buddha's beach and the prices for for tickets for south africans and non-south africans are different so for buddha's beach i paid 195 rands for an adult ticket i think kids pay 76 rands to get tickets to go to the buddha's beach then after that i went for the cape rail experience and that was really exciting for me because it's my first time i'll ever do something like that i paid 250 rand as an adult then i think uh, from age 4 to 17 pay uh, 95 rand then children below 4 is free so let's go <laughs>
who are these guys? Okay. Nelson Mandela, okay. FW Dr. He okay. was South Africa's president before um, Nelson Mandela. Okay. Desmond Tutu, okay. and then Albert Lutu. He was also another one of those freedom fighters okay. um, for peace in South Africa, peace and reconciliation. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Up there. I didn't realize. Yeah, they have one of those VIP boxes. I think it's for all those people who want to be proposing, having uh -huh. whatever. I'll just try the normal one. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be like. We're going down. I think uh, I hope that's what it is. We must be on this for a while. It's not 12 minutes yet. Is it? No. We're going all the way again. We're going down. Okay. It can't be down. It's down though. Because we didn't go that way. Yeah. Uh uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. We're still this guy is not trying to duck us and tell us to come up. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, okay. we're still going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me relax now. Okay. <laughs> and enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. And here, going up oh. again. Yay! Ma, I was really thinking this would be scary. Yeah. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, it's not at all. So uh, oh. Okay, where's the best lighting? You want it this is the thought the Robin Island and the military walk to freedom. The Robin Island used to be an hospital for terminally healed people before it was changed to a prison in the 17th century. This prison is where Nelson Mandela lived 18 years of his life fighting for freedom for South Africa. And in this prison, they only allow one visitor per year and one letter per year, which is not more than 500 words. Tickets to the Robin Island varies between 450 rands to 500 rands. But I got my ticket for 450 rands. And for kids, it varies from 210 rands to, to, yeah, to 310 rands for children. Pick up challenges at Camps Bay. I took my, my ride from Camps Bay to the Robin Island and you only go by the boat ride. See you guys as we take a tour to the Robert Island. Hey, you are welcome to Robert Island Museum, okay? Alright, my name is Doza. Doza. requested by his coach in 1974 that he have to write his own autobiography. The book, Long Walk to Freedom, he wrote that book in his cell by the cell of Mr. Nelson. So after that, I went for a tour around the V and A waterfront. Actually, the Cape Wheel is situated in the V&A waterfront, that's the Victoria and Alfred waterfront. To tour the V&A waterfront is free, you don't have to buy a ticket to do that. So join me as I take you around the Victoria and Alfred waterfront in Cape Town.
out of these few places to visit in Cape Town, I visited a lot more places. So stick around for part two. If this is the kind of content you love to see, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, share with your friends, comment and like. Thank you so much and bye for now guys.